morning guys welcome to today today is Sunday no it feels like Sunday it is actually Tuesday I'd love to see if Heart Station is open though I mean it would be great to take Jacob on a little ride so he could maybe fall asleep by mistake because he's a little tired you tired Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. So anyways, uh, welcome to today. If you guys didn't know, we did 24 hours in the barn last night. We're all exhausted, except for Gabby and Sophie in Brooklyn, who just slept like a dream. Um, and this morning, we're just kind of trying to figure things out, get everybody settled. My house is a mess. The barn is a mess. The chiropractor is coming to take care of our horses. And I need to get down there and clean the barn because the barn is a mess. Uh -oh. Jacob and Brooklyn had a bath, got all freshened so they can go home today. You want to go home today? Are you ready to go home? Mm -hmm. and see Mama and Daddy? Yeah. So after his bath, I let him watch a movie for a while. So thinking that maybe he'd lay down and fall asleep, but he didn't. So we brought him down, gave him some breakfast. And I said, Nono wants you to have cereal with him because Nono's having cereal. Mm -hmm. And what did you say? That's an appropriate. He laughed his head off and said, Nono's having cereal? That's inappropriate. Cereal is for kids. Cereal's for everybody. For Dad. For Nono. For Nono. It is 10.30 a.m. Is hey, it 10.30? I have a plan. You have a plan? We're going to lock the ponies outside and then put one horse in the arena while we muck out their stall. Okay, that's a great plan. Love your plan. Such a horse girl. So, um, a chiropractor is going to be here in 11 30 one hour and we haven't done chores yet <laughs> and we didn't put the horses out this morning because we uh, wanted them to be dry and fresh for the farrier or for the chiropractor look we ate all the cookies yesterday I had two cookies poor Laura just joking I'm better off without the cookies I always try and get people to eat all the stuff so Sophie's gonna be making her way down. She's still getting dressed. Grandkids are watching a movie with No No, which is the Italian word for grandpa. No No, uh, which is so fitting for Sam. Anyways, you've been looking old, Finny. What's the matter? Hey, what is it? You don't drink very good in your stall. We're gonna clean you up, okay? So uh, you guys know that Finn has been battling an uh, injury that he got on his back from one of the horses so rudely and um so we're gonna fix that today she's gonna fix it today our chiropractor is so freaking amazing i love her so much you guys have no no idea how much i love her she isn't available all the time because she's also a vet she gives us lots of good advice she has lots of good stories she's amazing she does our horses love her finn loves her and that is the big thing so we're gonna get all of them done chino i don't know i think they all are the only one that really hasn't been needing the chiro as much is storm our, our chiropractor told us that he really loves sophie and me riding him a lot better than gabby riding him he's happy his body is happy with the less amount of work that we ask of him and, and that's fine he will always be a beginning a beginner horse somebody to just drag around drag us around the field a couple of times each each ride. Well, Gabby had such a good idea. She decided that we're going to put one horse out at a time into the arena so that we can muck stalls easier. Okay, Finn first then. Okay. You guys know how Gracie is the flirt of the family? Well, look at this. Will will be like, I like a hunky boy. Will loves him. She's like, let me share with you, big handsome man. All right, I didn't catch it, but uh, Will actually is in love with Storm. She likes Storm. Uh, Will went to eat hay and Gracie ran. She looked, she saw Storm standing there with no other horse and she ran to him. And then out of nowhere came Willow and she pushed Gracie off and said, that's my man. Like, I can't believe it. Like, it's just so crazy to me. Horse dynamics. All mares are hookers. <laughs> Gabby said, here's a lesson they don't teach you in horses. All mares are hookers. <laughs> Come on, Gabby. The chiropractor's going to be here really soon. Yeah, I'm taking Storm in. Lisa. Oh, I'm sorry. And she's brave. She's got all the doors open. She's taking Storm in. I'll stand here with my... He's fighting her. He doesn't want to leave his mares. You know that I'm a keep it cool. With you, I feel a breaking rules. On the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around without a clue. On the edge, leaning out. With us, it's all or nothing. Oh, but guess I need more of you. Oh. Get a haul 
Walter. Storm. She's like, darn it! He didn't listen to me! My horse is not listening to me! That's what I'm trying to tell you. Boys around girls, Gabby. She's like, is this my boy? Let's see what happens now. I'm here, Chino. I'm here. He's got a nice booty muscle. There's his boy. Chino's like, I got two of them. Chino's afraid of her. He's like, what is she? Is a midget. He's like, they're Yesterday I said that the that the ponies were playing with these hula hoops. I swear to God, I did not know where the hula hoops were, but I heard them. I heard this. Like, Gracie must come over here and look at our little area of toys and see what she wants to play with. Maybe she's kicking the ball in and out. I don't know, but it was noisy. They just don't. With oh. He likes Gracie. Gabby likes to listen to the radio when she mucks out. We are almost done. Purses are all cleaned and freshed. Well, that was a lot of hay for Chino. Holy heck. He's falling in love. Gabby's like, I am the only one you will love. Oh. Crazy. He's like, my man. He loves Gracie. He does. Did you see them kiss? Gracie is friendly with everybody who helps her off. Yeah. Gracie likes anybody who's the boss of her. Except for Willow. Except for Willow. All right. He is ready. He does not know what's happening, but the chiropractor is here, and you are the first one on the docket. Gabby thinks that Chino, that Finn used to have a really thick tail and now he doesn't because Chino's tail is so much thicker. But I love your tail, Finny Finn. He's like, I've been needing some hands on. So after this, we might be able to get him back in work and he's gonna have some Equizen first, let me tell ya. Before I die, we need to cut this. Yeah, before, before you die, we need to cut this? No. All right. I agree. Let's cut it. So uh, Canada just got shut down for 30 more days. So we're allowed to still be in phase one where we're allowed five people, social distancing, our riding is still allowed, blah, 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 but nothing else for 30 more days. Like we're not advancing to the next stage. 30 more days, which puts it as July. July, you guys. This is the end of the, end of the summer for us. What are we making? Pineapple whip. Pineapple whip. Do you remember what we did to make it? What did we, we put? Pine, um, pineapple. Pineapple and we put 
Coconut milk? Coconut milk in it. And now we're gonna whip it, right? Mm. Brooklyn is not eating the, the ingredients. Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> Alright, get up here. Jacob's got one too. Are we ready? Brooklyn, whoops. Brooklyn's gonna try it, the first one to try it. Let's see if she likes it. Oh, we made a mess. Okay. That's okay. You think it needs sugar? A little bit. Yeah, add a little bit of sugar and it's a thumbs up. Did you like it? Yes. Sophie liked it without the sugar. Okay, so every time my grandkids come, I always plan some stuff for us to do. One was make that dream whip. One was to take them on a trail ride. Jacob decided not to go. Otherwise, I would have taken him for a trail ride too. I still want to take him for a trail ride, to be honest. Um, the drink, the trail ride, I wanted us to sleep 24 hours in the hayloft, which we did that. And the last thing I wanted to do with them was to make soap. So I'm not super awesome at many things, but I do like to do a little bit of crafting. It's not ever gonna look perfect or smell perfect or be perfect like other people who do this, like and do a really good job of it. This is just something fun for the kids and I. I have this big, huge tub of glycerin, clear glycerin soap. I have this little soap mold. It has four things of soap. I've got these round molds and I got these little round molds that I bought. So we're gonna try and make, I don't know if this will work though. Yeah, we're gonna try, we might have to just have them small like that. We're gonna try and make a few different things. I also have this scent stuff. <clears throat> One day I'd actually like to up my game and actually make learn to make soap with real oils, but this is um, some scents that I have. Okay, so for our soap, we have coconut oil. And we have glycerin. And coconut oil is gross. It, I'm allergic to coconut oil. I love coconut oil. I like mm -hmm. it, but it's making me allergic. And we have lilacs, and then we have and our scent. And a clear rock. And Brooklyn is going to put some surprises in her soap. So that Two. She, yeah, a, a little frog and a little bunny. And so when she uses the soap at home, when she gets to the end of it, there will be a surprise, right? All right, we are almost ready. So Brooklyn's got the glycerin. Sophie's got the coconut There's oil. There's hair and sticks in this. Well, that's okay. We may or may not have used this for the horses. So. Okay, so now we need to figure out who's gonna do what. I'm doing these. Okay, two. we I'm can't gonna... do that. See how that's a liquid? We won't be able to put them together. So we can only make it and it'll have a flat bottom. So, but you can have two. You wanna do those two? No, I don't want to do this. You want to do these ones? Okay, so things got out of hand really fast. Everything started to get hard fast. So we had to move fast, and I just could not use the camera. I could not bring you guys along. All right, so this is Jacob's. He's got two here. You guys can't smell, but they smell beautiful. You're supposed to spray alcohol on the top so that it um, takes all these bubbles and stuff away, but we didn't have any, and you can't get any. Yeah, that's our soap. So now we're just going to put it in the freezer. Brooklyn's doing her own masterpiece over there, and we're going to show you guys once we pull it out of the freezer. Sam had the best idea. It is a rainy, cool day. We can't really go, I mean, we could go outside, but it's not enjoyable to go outside in weather like this. So Sam said, let's go for ice cream. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. I, I never ever give up on ice cream. I never refuse ice cream. So. This van has served us so well. Every time we get in here, our grandkids always say, turn on the movie, and they love to watch a movie. Before I forget, I wanted to tell you guys what the chiropractor said. She's amazing, and she said that Chino was out in a lot of places. Chino was out in his neck, both sides of his neck, and his, his whole left side was out, and just a lot of stuff was out on Chino, and so he's all fixed up and did well. Finny, like we knew, was out in his back lower pelvis and his upper pelvis and his I don't even know. I, I, I need her to write all this stuff down, but he was out uh, all in the back end there and then out some other places. Like, And the storm was out everywhere too. Like our horses, the last time she was here a month ago, they were hardly out at all. And then this month, they are all out big time. That's the, that's how having car, that's how chiropractic works. Sometimes they're out, sometimes they're not out. It's been, uh, 
lots of shenanigans in the field before in the winter time when they weren't out so much they just sat kind of in a little square didn't really move around a lot except for be ridden and now they're getting out and they're running after each other they're chasing after each other they're fighting after each other so definitely much more going on but they've all been adjusted Finn is given the green light to get back into light riding we're gonna just ride them light uh, the first couple of days we're just gonna go slow walk trot um, a couple of times and then eventually we'll get him back into full work and I'm really excited he needs it now we're going to Dairy Queen because I don't want this <laughs> no we're not mm. <laughs> our life is falling apart ice cream you don't need a bowl so we went to Reed's Dairy which is our local ice cream store and we were here not long ago but all of a sudden all the rules have changed so that's the thing with COVID like everything changes day to day so you never know what's going to happen but anyways they don't have any of the stuff that they had last week you can only get a cone you can only get a cone which is great so I ordered the, the little kids a single cone and it had like two scoops of so big they can't even manage it you're not like it's just awful and the reason it's awful is triple it's because if you if the, there's so much to learn and so much to do and if the person serving you is kind then you just do whatever they tell you and you follow along it's still difficult to figure everything out because there's so many changes if the person that's serving you is a not nice person then it's a big struggle it makes a really bad situation terrible when the person serving you the girl serving us was new being trained and was terrible but her support people that were helping her were like the nicest people but it was a nightmare who knew getting ice cream would be so hard if you're a, a parent you're only allowed one kid in the store you're not allowed anymore so then sam this is where our life is falling apart we made soap right we made soap and we had this perfume and the perfume is killing us sam's so i think brooklyn has it on her she got it on her this car all i smell is perfume it's choking me my my throat feels tight my neck feels tight Sam's eyes got all red and are leaking because we're allergic to this perfume it's so overpowering and uh, yeah and then the whole ice cream situation it's just I kind of might be allergic from that perfume, <laughs> yeah. not that, um... yeah didn't know what was going on we all knew we were having allergic reaction to something like my throat feels so raw and Sophie is the same and now Sam's eyes and Brooklyn and I think it's definitely the soap it's all I can smell in I here is this perfume anything. I can't smell anything it's terrible that. I can smell it it's so overpowering I feel like I'm I'm sucking it in we made our, our soap and they look good but they're freezing they're a little bit frozen too I stuck them in the freezer but this is Jacob's I'm gonna show you guys what it's like no, this is Jacob's daddy's the one that has orange in it, it's See, can you guys see the bubbles? Uh, see the bubbles? It's no, a little bit frozen. Like mint is not mine. The one that smells this like This one smells like chocolate mint. Yeah, no. I'm down with daddy. But guess I need more of you.